The recent Halo Infinite development update gave us our first images of Halo's in-game visuals since the gameplay demo of 2020 in July, which now begs the question, have the graphics or visuals improved at all since this delay has been announced? I think so. And this video is gonna show you why, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to catch up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe right there. Let's get right into the content. So the big reason why Halo Infinite was delayed was because the visuals weren't exactly next gen as we were expecting, especially since we were kind of primed to expect more from the announcement trailer and the Discover Hope trailer that we had in 2018 and in 2019. And after the July reveal in 2020 showcasing some actual gameplay, people were kind of underwhelmed and so it led to 343 kind of reassessing and delaying the game. And the recent February update is the first time we actually had some in-game visual representation of Halo Infinite since July. And it's been a full nine months since we've seen that gameplay demo, so have the visuals improved since then? Well, I've grabbed some screenshots from the gameplay demo that we had in July and the screenshots that were provided in the February update, and I wanted to compare and contrast some of the changes that 343 has made since the demo. So let's jump right into it. So let's jump into this shot first. You'll probably see this everywhere because this is the first like in-game sniper rifle screenshot that we've seen and it's just a, a beautiful shot of what Halo Infinite has to offer for us. So throughout all these images I want you to kind of take note of a lot of the shadowing that takes place, the texturing on models, the more weathered effects that we've seen within the new screenshots as well, and the general change in art style when it comes to the environments of Halo Infinite. A big issue that we saw within the gameplay demo as the screenshot showcases is that Halo Infinite's engine had issues with low lighting in that and bringing out detail in the texturing and shadowing obviously most of the gameplay was done in an evening setting and most of these screenshots are during the daytime so it's not a direct one-to-one -one comparison but you can see some visual differences like take this mangular for example right you zoom in on it you can see it just looks so flat and with the low lighting the texturing doesn't really pop out as much it just looks very flat and basic i actually used this exact image for my thumbnail when it came to the downgrades that we had for my video I put out, which was one of my most viewed videos, where Halo Infinite's engine really struggled to try to bring out detail in low lighting. Well, it seems like that's improved since then. Because you can see in this image, Chief is currently standing within a shadow. Yes, this is a daytime setting, so it might pop up a little better with the texturing, but you can take a look at the sniper rifle and you can still see that there is a good amount of texturing, weathering, and just visual appearance to make this look more used and interacted with, where previously that mangular looked rather flat and dull. Also, the vegetation looks more dense and vibrant and varied compared to what we saw in the gameplay demo as well. We just zoom into the section here on the right side, but you can see the variations just within the single screenshot. We have one, two, three, four, I think you mean five different types of vegetation within the singular area. Where in the gameplay demo, not so much. Where if you look at the gameplay demo here, you can see, yes, there are different types of foliage that are in this world, but they look rather flat. There's really not much in the way of depth to them. But so if we do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the foliage here, you can see that it looks, again, rather flat and you don't really know as much about it. But where you look at this new screenshot within the gameplay demo, you can really see the depth of the foliage really kind of coming out where the tops are dark, brighter, the bottom half of the foliage is darker to really kind of give that depth and make that sense of like this is in the world. This next image I wanted to showcase how the lighting has drastically changed with the shadowing in Halo Infinite as well. Take a look at note of the shadowing, how natural it looks compared to the only daytime shot we had previously. This is from a trailer. It snapped at 1080p. It was in motion, so obviously you can't do granular detail and the analytics with this. But you can just see how, especially with like these pillars, look at the pillars over here. Like that does not look that natural and does not look that great. And yes, it's in motion. There is a little bit of a red hue because the player was taking damage at the time of the screen. But you can definitely just see like how much better 
lighting has improved and the shadowing has improved within Halo Infinite. Here's the next screenshot that we have uh, from the February development update showcasing just the landscape as a whole and how drastically different it looks now compared to what we saw previously. Uh, one thing is taking note is the skybox right here. Uh, the clouds kind of look a little low res in my opinion, kind of simple, but look a little bit higher res than what we saw in the gameplay reveal. Showcase that in a minute here. But take a note of the ring and how much more subdued it looks in the background, part of the skybox almost. Though I do believe it, it looks like it's modeled out compared to pr traditionally the Halo ring was just part of the skybox. Take note of the stars as well. We do get to see a little bit of nebulas as well in some of these other images. But also the terrain in general. Take a look at the terrain. Way less emphasis on those pillars. Yeah, they are certainly prevalent. You can see some right here. Uh, but looks like a little bit right there in the background. Some, obviously some right there as well, but most of it is natural terrain and not much in the way of just overuse of the pillars like we had in some of these uh, screenshots. Because if you take a look at the gameplay demo that we saw, look at all the pillars that you see right here. It's a little jarring and doesn't really look that great. For now, it just looks fantastic. And also keep an eye on the ring itself. Look at the, uh, I guess, environmental ambient haze that's there as well. Much more reminiscent that we saw in previous Halo tiles where if we look at the gameplay demo, which I'll showcase in a second here, it's so much more prevalent. It doesn't really look that natural, like it's that far away. I mean, the entire diameter of this ring is 10,000 kilometers, so it's a large structure. It needs to have that sense of distance, and it's really more prominent in these new screenshots than we saw previously. Here's the first shot of the gameplay demo when we first time get to see the Halo ring. Take a look at the kind of bland background that it has right there. Not much in the way of clouds. Uh, there are like no stars whatsoever where if we take a look at the previous image zoom in right here a much more beautiful backdrop much more dynamic and just kind of makes the world feel more space like a sci-fi kind of thing in this screenshot i want you to take note of one the clouds much more low res in here and also the base part of the ring as well it's much more prominent to me i kind of lose that scale of the ring of showing how large this thing is here's another screenshot of the ring you can almost see it like flowing into the gameplay itself, which actually is very well done. We haven't really had that before in a visual presentation in Halo, uh, though it doesn't really give that grand scale of distance. And again, you can really see the overuse of the pillars. Now, these could just be either a change in art style or it's just uh, the way the this section of the Halo ring looks like. But I believe that they tone down the use of these pillars and make it more of an accent rather than the prominent feature within the terrain. Again, here's another screenshot that I grabbed from the gameplay trailer that's about a minute long. Towards the end right here, you can really get a good shot of the base, I guess you want to call it, of the Halo ring. And it just seems like it's like right there. It doesn't really give you that sense of scale like it does now. And also how the entire shadowing of the valley right here is is just so flat. It doesn't really have much in the way of dynamics. Yes, it's low lighting. It's currently kind of covered by the Halo ring, and you would have much more even shadowing, but it just doesn't really seem so dynamic, and nothing really pops out visually. It's all rather flat, where that's definitely changed now. Where you can see in this evening shot right here, we have more emphasis on the skybox, with that gathering of stars right there, better resolution on the clouds, make them look more realistic, more weathering on Forerunner structures as well. Obviously, if we take a quick shot into here, you can definitely see that the, the dirt and rain that's kind of been on these objects for a long time because it's been inactive for quite some time. Now you can definitely see again with these pillars which we'll point out later uh, they definitely look more weathered and used and not so shiny. It looks more textured and matted which is, I think exactly what those pillars needed. Also keep an eye on the grass right here. Much more ambient inclusion added in with this. Again like I mentioned earlier giving that depth to make it feel like it's in the ground kind of look. And also take a look at how this Warhog lighting is compared to what the screenshot will show in a minute and the lighting from the headlights on the Warhog as well. Completely different from this next coming screenshot. You can see in this image it, that it's so much more flat when it comes to the visual presentation. The grass ambient inclusion is a little bit there, but almost non-existent really. The ground just looks so flat. It doesn't really have that depth that we have in this new image. You can see the headlights from the Warhog don't really interact with the ground as much. Yes, it is at a higher angle. It's pointed up compared to down. You would have some bleeding of the headlights onto the grass. That's just not happening at all with this 2020 screenshot. Much less ambient haze that we've seen. So the ring just seems much more in your face right there. And also take a, take a look at the texturing on the ring. That doesn't exactly look uh, 
intentional. Now I removed my camera so you can see the structure here on the left side right here. That This is actually the second or maybe even third time we've seen this structure that again, like, like I'm pointing out my everything you need to know video, it does look pretty low res, low poly and stuff like that, but that's just because it's at a distance. But we've seen this previously as well. The screenshot that I took from the gameplay trailer, you can see this similar structure just to the lower left of Master Chief. Now this could be some kind of gameplay element we'll need to see, or maybe like one of those kind of visual towers we have from Assassin's Creed or something like that. But it does seem to be a reoccurring structure within the world, so you probably see this more of a gameplay element with this structure. Now these next set of images, again, just want you to take in the environment of Halo Infinite and look at this. This is what we from the gameplay demo that we saw right here. Huge emphasis on the pillars, uh, low res on the clouding right here, and just shadowing not so great this one you can really see the uniformity and the shininess of all these pillars here on the left side of the screen they all kind of just look exactly the same really and especially like this section right here that doesn't really feel so uh immersive as what hill infinite is really trying to accomplish with its visuals and take a look at this screenshot and it's a wow picture right there it looks absolutely gorgeous i want to go everywhere in this image right here Again, you can still see the pillars are still prominent right here, but the texturing is much better. The weathering on these structures is much better as well. You can see right here, in the, just like in the lower left edge area, you can see that these pillars are more accenting the area, showcasing the broken parts of the ring, and not just being everywhere like we've seen previously. And take a better look at the clouds. The skybox looks way more beautiful. One of the smaller images here, so it's gonna be a little low res, but trying to find something similar to what we had in the gameplay demo, you can see in the visual differences right here, that ambient haze coming in right here stars in the skybox, the ambient occlusion with the grass and the foliage as well, and the better variety that there is as well. And how you can still make out the texturing of this structure right here, where probably in the gameplay demo, this would have been completely flat. And I come back to this image because I want to showcase you guys the pillars and how much more matted they look in the visual comparisons now, because this is a close up right here. You can see the weathering on these pillars, much more matted, less prominent, less reflective. Uh, compared to what we had in the gameplay demo. I mean, this is almost obnoxiously shiny and looks so fresh and new, where the forerunner structures have been, you know, abandoned for thousands of years. Next, I'm gonna show you two close-ups of these pillars as well from the screenshot here. Again, yeah, in motion, in-game capture at 1080p, but you can still generally see like the weathering is almost non-existent on these pillars. They look flat, brand new, very uniform as well. And this is probably the closest imagery we've had of a pillar right here. You can see just like how flat it looks. Like it just doesn't really have much to it. Like I feel like I would just like put my hand on it and it would just be as smooth as surface possible. So hopefully in this analytical video, you can kind of see the progress that 343 has made with their visuals in Halo Infinite's environments. I will be releasing more Halo Infinite analytical videos as we move forward, as well as the future updates on top of that. So make sure you subscribe. If you miss any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.